Giannis. How's it Absolutely going, man? Absolutely wonderful to see you, my friend. Awesome to see you too, sir. Well, you, it looks like I am interviewing you at the Emmys. I love your background. <laughs> well, behind it is my wife's crafting room, and so I decided to hide it. It's a complete mess. <laughs> well, it looks fabulous. Giannis, you're with Camp of the Cross Ministries. Tell us all about it. Well, Camp of the Cross Ministries is actually an all-year-round ministry that's located on Lake Sakakawea. Um, by Garrison, North Dakota. Uh, we're owned by 72 plus Lutheran and United Church of Christ congregations. And uh, we serve, like I said, we serve kids all summer long and adults every weekend throughout uh, the year. Well, and Giannis, I mean, it's so neat to see a, a tapestry of that many different churches coming together to support this ministry. You know, tell us why this is so meaningful to those churches and what's happening on your campgrounds. Well, the one thing is that our mission is um, camping with Christ for lives of faith. And so obviously coming to our site and being a part of the 150 acres and camping in cabins or in tents and around the campfires makes life really fun, especially in the summertime. Uh, we were open this past summer when a lot of camps weren't because of the pandemic. So it's fun to see the kids running through the fields, uh, enjoying the camp songs, having a great time. But what's important to us is that we hope and pray that that moment or that time they've been with us builds a life of faith, that it goes beyond our place and that they um, live out their life of Christ and what they all, what they do. Um, one of the things that made, really went to my heart this year was a lot of our former summer staff caught that fire and when we were struggling during the pandemic um, we got lots of donations from them one of the young men who was say 32 said hey Giannis I can't give you much but will fifteen thousand dollars help you from a 32 year old um, just just amazing how um, that spark of faith is lit at Camp of the Cross and I'm honored and proud to be a part of that ministry well, it's so remarkable. And also that, you know, those that have attended camp will turn around and support it because they've experienced how transformational it can really be. Well, Giannis, can you talk to us a little bit about the importance of camp, uh, especially now, uh, you know, in the digital age and in a fast paced society, you know, what is special about a camping experience? Especially that a lot of the kids are learning virtually um, and a lot of school districts are are struggling with getting their kids into classrooms. And so to have them in an outdoor experience that they want, wouldn't normally get these days is really important. We opened up registration December 1st, and we have had over 100 kids registered before the new year, more than we've ever had. Um, we did outdoor education for the local elementary school in September. Um, those kids had not been on a field trip since the September before. And so, uh, being outdoors, I think, is really important to the lives of kids uh, to get away from their phones, get away from all that media. Um, actually, social media was awesome for this event, you know, in order for us to raise money for Giving Arts Day. But we wouldn't want to do that with the kids in the summertime. We want to keep them away from it. Well, and Giannis, could you tell us what a gift means to Camp of the Cross on Giving Hearts Day? Well, for us is that um, we want to be all year round and most of our facilities were just summer facilities. And so in the last two years, we've been renovating cabins that were normally just summer cabins. And so with last year's success, we we're able to renovate the first set. And this year we're hoping to renovate the second set so that we can have people at this time of year not worrying about the cold. They're in a warm cabin. Um, and we do have youth groups that are coming. I just signed up a confirmation group that's coming in March and the weather is unpredictable. So it's kind of nice to have a warm cabin rather than a, a cold cabin in March. 
Well, Giannis, it's so wonderful to hear about Camp of the Cross and to know that there are transformational experiences that are happening there, that there's something special, too, about being outdoors, being on beautiful Lake Sakakawea, and getting together to be able to talk about the real questions of life together in community. And now knowing that a gift will help to perpetuate that program, but also to help you winterize so you can do this good work all year round. Giannis, any closing thoughts you'd like to share with our HeartCast audience? Well, I just wanted to mention that I'm been really blessed to be a part of the Minot Collaborative this year um, and some crazy leaders, but uh, Minot Collaborative has done really well this year as well. So please help out my sisters and brothers in Christ this last uh, hour as well. Um, they, they've been working hard just as much as we have. Well, and I invite the HeartCast audience to check out the Minot Collaborative Giving Hearts Day Facebook page. There's some great videos from Giannis and also some others in the Collaborative. A whole lot of fun. Giannis, thank you so much for coming on the HeartCast and for all the great work that you do at Camp of the Cross Ministries. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We're going to go to a short uh, video from one of our partners, and we'll be back with a special surprise boost in just a moment. 